Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, what are these? Oh, so we're seeds. Probably should just sell those. Um, so what's the plan? The plan is probably to explore and, you know, do the whole thing. First of all, something I, I want to check real quick is how much does my helmet sell for? Maybe better yet, what does our shard mail sell for? Uh, probably the... Well, let's have a look. Why am I looking? Well, I have a metamorphic polygel on me. And as much as I don't want to sell it, um, that is to say I don't want to sell my metamorphic polygel or I don't want to sell my crystal shard mail. Have a quick look. Sorry, I, I promise we're going to do other things other than looking through inventories here. Where is my armor? Where is it? So it sells for 840. How much does our helmet sell for? Probably should have checked both at once. That would have been clever. Not as much. So if I was going to duplicate something for the sake of selling it, it would probably be my uh, crystal shard mail. Um, we're not going to worry about that for a long time. Um, a long time. <sighs> for now, um, we're gonna we're gonna leave. We're gonna go ahead and recoil out. Could go to Great Gate. I should make some solar cells just so that all of my recoilers have solar cells. Do I have some solar cells? Yeah, I have one. I can just like shove in there. That's infinitely better than anything else, basically, because by the time I want to use it, it will be charged. In fact, let's go ahead and tinker up one more. Where is it? There it is. Uh, requires a flawless crystal, but that's fine. This is this is worth it, I promise. Kind of. Mm, probably not, but you know, whatever. Just means I like listen, I don't Oh, high capacity solar cell. Actually, let's go ahead and put that I didn't know we could make a high capacity one. Let's go ahead and put that in the um advanced toolkit so i did look it up and um it's it just has to be powered you don't have to equip it um that's it i i thought maybe you had to equip the toolkit but no other other people have asked and it's fine um i could make one more solar cell for something else like for instance the forest bracelet now that has a nuclear cell, and I think that's a good use of it. Maybe the point defense drone. I could like put the uh, put a high capacity solar cell on the force bracelet, and then put the nuclear cell on the point defense drone. I feel like that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. And again, uh, I will be doing other things other than tinker. Uh, this time I didn't make a high capacity one, so. I guess it's, uh, it is a, a chance thing. Um, in that case, maybe I don't want to do this. Let's not do it. Did I not do this? Too too complex. Okay, let's go ahead and install the nuclear cell. It's full. Uh, we'll see down the road how expensive it is to keep that thing powered. Maybe let's go ahead and put the solar cell in the um, night vision goggles. I know that's going to bite me in the ass at some point, but I don't care. Um, for now, it's, I think it's kind of fun. Whoops. That the sun is powering my night vision goggles. Um, could go to Gritgate. Let's just go to Tarash. Don't disassemble. Activate. Could talk to our tinker. We haven't. I haven't uh, seen him in a while. 
Uh, co-processor. What's that? Adds item modification co-processor. When powered, this item grants bonus intelligence and provides zero units of compute power to the local lattice. I wonder what that means. I know that it said um, there's a, like a lot, a few items that are like, if you, you know, add uh, compute power to the local lattice, you improve the way certain things work. But this specifies that it provides zero units. So I'm wondering about that. Grants bonus intelligence. I'm not sure that is very useful to me. I'm not sure what I would even want to add to it, add it to. I think I can make lead slugs, so I don't think this is very useful to me. Ninefold boots. Calig graphs are incised in uneven rows and columns that meander across the quarter and back stay up of the boot. Their character mass appears to orbit a central statement. I don't know what any of this means. Um, it's probably very good, but I just spent all of my money, so I can't afford it. What is this? Tell me what this is. Sure. Oh, a small sphere of negative weight. I think that that is worth buying. Um, if I can. It gives me 10, right? Yeah, just 10. Um, I'm not going to sell my cybernetics credit wedge. I know, I know I said I was going to do other things. Uh, I really do kind of want the small sphere. And also, if I, it's got, it's actually got a bid on it that I could, I could, oh my goodness. I absolutely should buy this. It's actually, I think it's worth sell, selling my cybernetics credit wedge for. Um, I really should stop selling my pickled mushrooms, but. Let's go ahead and sell enough. Actually, I have enough water. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll just buy it. Let's go ahead and just buy it. So now the question is, first of all, I could learn how to make it, I think for free. I didn't trinkets. I, I, I've learned how to make it for free. Um, now I'm going to make sure this is solar cell low. Let's go ahead and replace that. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and wait. Uh, I'm going to, is it nighttime or daytime? By the way, a nice new feature, um, is they, they made that um, the wait command remember how many you wanted you you said it last time so you can just hit enter um, this has this is full so I, I want to make sure that this is full so I should have a better or higher chance of getting all of the bits from this small sphere of negative weight if I am successful here then I will be able to mod my um crystal armor that would be so good though um flexi weaved that would be fantastic let's let's do it i know it's like you know we're sacrificing 10 w units of weight here but i i got them all this is big this is actually huge i'm getting back three uh three dv You mod it. And we're at 18 DV. Amazing. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, if we can, I know like spheres of negative weight are quite rare. So I don't, I don't expect to see them often. But if I do, it's worth grabbing and probably dismantling them. So something I could do um, is 
go back to um, basically combing the desert. It's, you know, it's something to do. I think, uh, oops. What I will, uh, you know, basically I'm gonna go over one. What? Where did this centipede come from? Get out of here. Sucks that we aren't friends with insects anymore. And basically we're, I'm, um, we're still on the leftmost. Let me just make sure here. Yeah, we're still on the leftmost tile, but uh, I basically only did the left two tiles. I didn't do the third, or that is to say the right tile, the rightmost tile of the leftmost parasang, if that makes sense. And basically I'm walking and covering two tiles at once as I go upwards. This is so we can see stuff like this. Get some free information. Um, you know, this is, I think, a pretty effective way of, like, finding junk, uh, making friends or enemies, you know, uh, basically, uh, building a reputation and, uh, you know, you can also find a dromad care of it. Like, there's lots of things to find. And, yeah, like, here's a good screen to explore. I only have five or 45 drams of water, so I will have to keep an eye on that. But, you know, something I could do, probably should do. Let's go ahead and make a camp. And we're going to go ahead and use vine wafer sheaf. And sure, I'll use pickled mushrooms, maybe. Nah, eh, just vine wafer. That's it. You thirsted half right. There you go. Saved myself a bunch of uh, water. <laughs> it's like once you begin to understand the mechanics of this game, how it all kind of works together, how you can, you know, use stuff. It's, it, it's re it is very satisfying. Okay, so we have a bark biter here. Tough, hostile. Um, hated by grazing hedonists, admired by Kragmensch. And of course, loved by bears. I would... Now I have a bunch of friends here who are going to want to rip and tear everyone over there. Uh, what I would like to do is actually make friends. Hold on, sorry. I'm again flashing through the... There we go. Tough. Like, he's tough. For the level I'm at right now, that's good. I would like to make friends with the Bark Biter. Um, so, the way we do this is I'm going to go ahead and put a Love Injector in our primary hand. Um... And I mean, there's no good, like I could talk to each and every one of my friends here and tell them stay here and don't kill. But, you know, then I run the risk of, you know, like he stunned me. <laughs> I, I could be a few feet away from my friends and dying. <laughs> so I don't want that. Whoops, pressed the wrong button. I meant to press this. Did I make them a friend? I still have the love injector, so... Uh, I don't have it anymore, but... Um, are they friends? Can I talk to them? They seem to be friends. Chat. Let's share a dram. We're making friends. And this is actually a good way of um, affecting your reputation. Love injectors are great. If you can actually use them, um, this is a great way. If you if you're if you find something that is hostile to you that you would like to make friends with, um, and you know increase your reputation as opposed to decreasing it, then you know love injectors, and then you share a dram with them.
And, you know, I'm pretty sure... Like... I, I, you know, I unfortunately don't have the ability to make them a permanent friend of mine. They will eventually kill me. These... Oh, they're friendly to me. They're all friendly to me. Perfect. Wait, why... Why are you not friendly? He is friendly. Why is he attacking me? Okay, well... Eh, it sucks, we lost the bear, but... Whatever. So we have a, yet another friend. And, you know, uh, the bark, bi bark biter? Legendary bark biter is nothing to sneeze at. Um, I don't... Like I say, I don't think he will stay friends with me forever. I could be wrong. I mean, the thing is, is that um, you may recall, and I'll, I'll go over this again because, you know, there's always the potential that someone is, you know, finding this out for the first time. But um, when you water bond with someone, see, what's going on here? When you, when you do the water ritual with a person... Um, you are bonded with them. Like, it's a ritual, and you're basically saying, hey, I am a friend. I am friend, and please have, you know, some of my lifeblood, basically. <laughs> like, it's it's one step short of, like, uh, cutting your palm kind of thing. It's, it's, it's important. You're making a statement. Um, and the statement is pretty universal. In fact, it is universal amongst every, you know, denizen of... All, all of the denizens of, of Cud. Um, and if you were to break that ritual... So, you know, basically, if you were to, say, attack uh, a creature that you've shared a dram with... then or and, and kill them... Um, then you basically destroy your reputation with everyone... Everyone says, hey, you're kind of a schmuck for doing that. Why'd you do that? And then you, you're you done. <laughs> um, a lot of people... You, you, lose a, you lose reputation with a lot of people. So, I mean, this is true for everyone. Um, no one wants to make enemies of everyone. So, um, I, I don't think that... You know, once, once something is made... Once you've shared a dram with a character, I, I, I don't think they will go back on that, because the same rules apply to them. They destroy their reputation. And you know, I don't know, maybe there's an element of resentment, because it's like, oh, you know, you got me with the love injector and then tricked me into sharing a dram, so darn. But, you know, at the same time... Let me just make sure I am on the... I'm on the right tile. I just want to make sure. Wait a minute. This is... Huh. Breath my Arcanaut. Did I... Is this one of my friends? I don't know. Hey, you know what? Something I didn't do is uh, talk to the legendary bark biter and find out if they have any cool stuff. One of my favorite things about getting new friends is finding out what they have. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, chat, trade. He's got some stuff. He's got honey and cider. So I'll take the cider off him. I won't take a, the honey, of course. I would never, t you know, I wouldn't dream of taking honey off a bear. That's just rude. And potentially dangerous. Just like, you know, don't touch my beer. This feels like a place I have visited. Do 
So is this... Yeah, okay, I am on the right tile. I just... I want to make sure I'm, be, I'm basically straddling those two tiles. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep making our way up. Making new friends. I don't know how long the love injector lasts, so maybe it's already worn off. No, it's it hasn't. I can see the flashing heart, so they're they're still affected by the love injector. We'll see what happens when they stop flashing with a heart. Then maybe they will start attacking me. And you know, if they do, that's fine. What happened? The wind begins blowing at strong gale intensity from the west. Interesting. Is that a clue to something? I mean, I've already been the most west I could be. What was, what's going on? Something bizarre is happening. I, I don't know, I like this is probably nothing, but yeah, I think it's nothing. I mean I have already been over there, so I know there's nothing over there. But it's I guess it's just a little bit of flavor. Hey the the wind is blowing. I hope I get to keep this um bark biter friend because I think he has the ability to stun. You swallow the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Fantastic. Something interesting, nothing interesting. We're just we're just making our ways. Like, there's a lot of nothing in the salt desert, but the thing is, is there's also a lot of salt desert. <laughs> there's a lot of salt desert. And so the reason I like to basically comb it is because there's a lot to be, to, to find. I think one of our robots got badly wounded. Oh, and the, the, the oil got salted. Wait, is there some... Okay, we can collect that. Everything is everything is useful, you know. Let's go ahead and disassemble this rifle. We will likely I'll take the water skin. We will likely kill this uh, dawn glider. I think they're no, they're there. Yeah, they got um, they got stunned and then dropped like a rock. Ooh, gnus loved by antelopes. That's it, just loved by antelopes. We can wait. We're we're friendly, right? Neutral. Let's go ahead and make friends with antelopes and gnus. You know. Maybe we can have this entire uh, troop join us. You are now favored by antelopes. Have some of our secrets. And yeah, uh, how how tough are you actually? How tough are you? I had a bowl of nails for breakfast without any milk. Um, sure. You know what? I don't think I care that much for my antelope the thing is, is if i use up my reputation here i might be screwing myself down the road eh. more friends <laughs> what is that yo that looks like a mopango that is a mopango mechanimus convert i mean finding them is you know bittersweet because they're a mechanimus convert. It could have been anything. Could have been literally anything, and instead it's a Mapango. Wait, come back. I'm gonna sprint. Come back, I wanna talk. 
Got anything cool? Nothing cool. See, that's the unfortunate thing about Mechanimus. Mechanimus converts is they're boring. They have nothing going on. They're they're, they're worthless. glad I managed to kill that guy before whoever has the laser rifle, you know, got at them. Because then I can disassemble the rifle. You know what? I should find out who has the laser rifle and then, uh, like, make my own laser rifle. It's actually a good idea. Stun rod. Slender, full right, two-handed axe. Wool kilt. Uh, it's probably the robot. Weird artifact. Yeah. Have I talked to this guy? Yes, I have. They have nothing left. Okay. Well, you keep it. Whatever it is, you need it. Gaining a little bit of XP bit by bit. What happened to all our GNU friends? They're all gone. Hey, Dromat Caravan. Perfect. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff over there. Uh, average neutral. Pariah. I could make better friends with pariahs. More friends. Is this a caravan guard? Caravan guard. Dramatic caravan. Got anything cool? Nope. No, you are very boring, in fact. Very boring. Oh well. Eh. You got some stuff, but. Yo, when did I get this? The Sneaks of the Cerulean Circuit. When in the world did I get that? Plus two quickness grants you electrical generation at level two. If you already have electric generation, its level is increased by two. Uh, wow, okay. Um, I mean, it's just as good as what I'm wearing right now, so I may as well wear it. This is such a weird run. So now I can power devices with my sneaks. Can I actually do that? Wait, what did it, oh, power devices. Wow, that could actually be amazing. Hmm. Drink charge. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe uh, we'll not lose a charge now. Come back. Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Friend. I'm now favored by pariahs. Have some more secrets, please. Yeah, sure. I'll share my recipe. Um... How tough are you? Average. <laughs> sure, more friends. This is the most hilarious um, game of CUD I think I've ever played. Look at our actual army. We have a genuine army of Naftali warriors, robots. Uh, this is incredible. Put yourself out there, buddy. Let's go ahead and wait. Refrain from resting. Well, let's leave then. So I'm going to have a look at my three-point turret. We will be ending the episode pretty soon. So it's still very low. I should just replace this L.
I, I'm a little bit... Oh, wait a minute. I just realized I haven't using... I haven't had a weapon equipped for ages now. That is very dumb. That's a big dumb. Um, how does this work? Look. Power devices is on. So, I mean, maybe it's just, like, automatically doing its thing. I hope it... I hope it is. There's a... Oh, you know what I was supposed to do and I just remembered? I have so many ruins and in, in places that I haven't been to from, like, searching the trash. Um, I really should do that. I think that will be what we start doing on the next episode. Rust bog. Okay, I've never seen a rust bog. Force bracelet, weird artifact, capad surface recoiler. Well, this is just a treasure trove of stuff. What is this? Clang gangliotic teleprojector. It's a helmet. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be wearing that, probably. But let's see. Fluted visor of fused tungsten filament. Two antenna coil out of the temples. This is uh, incredible. Rust chewed locker. Sure. It's a cool red chest. Why not? It's actually some really good bits. I don't know if you can see the log there, but I'm getting a button. Some D's. Yo, I'm getting the D's. Found the location of a settlement. I'm not sure what a rust bog is, but it seems to be kind of legit. We will be ending the episode very soon, but this is a good note to, to leave on. Another ganglionic projector. Oh, and this is going to be a um, tattoo gun, right? Yeah. More locations of settlements. I think the only thing that I could, I, I would really like to, um, you know, the only thing I would say I'm quote unquote missing is uh, the Stops Valen. Stops Valen is very good. We do have, I mean, I guess we have a, um, <laughs> I guess we don't need Stops Valen. We have a force bracelet with a nuclear cell and the ability to charge, like keep it charged forever, maybe. So I don't know, maybe, I hesitate to say it, but maybe this is the run. Kind of feels like it could be. I don't know, I'm excited, guys. Oh, uh, you know what? I should, um, let's cook, use, use some more vine wafer, chief, so that we thirst it half. Saves us some money. You learn to cook shawarma with savory mats. That's That was a bad recipe that I just wasted. That's my bad. Okay, guys. Um, if you're enjoying the series, and I hope you are, because this is shaping up to be an interesting series, um, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, uh, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.